The whole point of what you're watching in the world today is control. They want to control what you think and what you do. And you will, you will submit to their plans and their vision for the world. That's what they want. They want this thing. They, I'm, are you watching? Are you reading like I am about chips uh, being in, in, in implanted in people that you can literally do all your shopping just by scanning your hand underneath the, the scanner? They are determined to control everything you do. Now, the Bible says that unless you have the mark of the beast, 666, you will not be able to buy or sell. Now, 50 years ago, 20 years ago, I'd have said to you, really, are you sure that's possible? I'm telling you now, it is possible. They have shut down the churches. They are about to shut down the churches again. The Supreme Court has ruled. It doesn't matter. Cuomo said, I don't care what they say. It's not going to happen. And they're at the point now that they, they are openly defying the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court says don't destroy ballots or don't mix the ballots up. Keep those separate from all the other ones, the ones that are in question, that come in late in Pennsylvania. And in direct defiance of the Supreme Court, they dumped all the questionable ballots in with the regular ballots and said, now what are you going to do about it? So there is, a, there is an open rebellion. There is an open attack on freedom and individuality. And what Donald Trump represented in the world today was America first. We are not going to join the club. We are not going to be part of this, this monolithic thing that they're trying to create. America is unique. And um, I, personally, I believe that there was some real fraud taking place in the election. And um, there's no way that Joe Biden got, I think it was like 16 million more votes than, than Barack Obama. No way. N no way. You know that's not possible. And uh, we're just trying to figure out if we can find out about it. So I'm here to tell you something. That your voice is needed more than it's ever been needed before. You need to be in church. You need to be in church. You need to go to church. As an act of defiance against control. To say it is my right. I have a God-given constitutional right to go and worship God. Be as careful as you choose. Stay away from people. Wear a mask. Do all the stuff that they think is impo important. But do something to stand up for your rights. Because if you don't stand up for your rights, I can promise you they will be taken from you. They will be taken from you. And you're watching with Facebook and all these other social media they are now commenting, they are now editor, editorializing all of the comments that they don't agree with and they qualify things. That's not their place to do that. These, these organizations, these social media boards are given this place as a forum, a public forum. Not as a publishing forum, but as a, a, a public to speak our minds on. And now they are imposing their will. They reckon that 11 million people's votes were swung by, by, by social media targeting people to change their point of view. This is free America we're talking about, folks, and we need to stand up for right and righteousness and have our voice be heard in the name of Jesus. And that is my rant for the day. <laughs> I, I wait all weekend and I huff and puff all by myself. And I, usually on Monday I'm, I'm, I'm loaded with for bear, but never mind. We are so glad to have a great friend with me. And um, I, it, it's what amazes me, and I'm sure God's done the same thing in your life, how he puts people in your life and you don't understand the import of them until you begin to realize the import of them. And one was this dear friend, Derek Gron, is a, is a pastor, a great man of God, who pastored Sarah Lynn First Assembly in, in the south part of Alabama. And uh, we love him. He is... Uh, his, his wife, Courtney, has been on the program, and in, in fact, she's overdue for a visit again. We need to get her here, and um, we're looking forward to seeing her. Derek, thank you for being on our program on this Monday, and excuse my ranting and raving. <laughs> oh, you're okay. I love to hear it. I get more info out of the beginning of your program than I get from all the news outlets. Oh, wow. Well, that's kind of you. Well, it's, it's certainly... It certainly needed to be talked about because people are not talking about it anymore. What amazes me in America is we get up, outraged for about three minutes. 
Yeah. And then, oh, well, there's nothing we can do about it. We just might as well sit down and shut up and take our medicine. And man, that is not, that is not the way God wants us to be. He wants us to stand up for what we believe because the church and the gospel is the ultimate target of this whole thing. This is bigger than yeah. Trump. This Amen. is the church. They want to secularize yeah. America. You know, well, it's like, uh, it's like we raised three boys, and I, I say raised because they are, they're of age now. You know, they're grown up, and honestly, um, they would wear us down. Mama, sure. can I have a snack? Mama, can I have a snack? And you get so tired of hearing it that you go to the pantry and get them a snack. Even when Mama's back was turned, I would go to the pantry and get them a snack snack just to shut them up and i think that's what the media they're employing the same tactic yeah. and they it's just a regurgitation just a constant to where really i mean yeah, a, even as a pastor and a minister and a believer i'm tired of hearing it so i just want to sure. turn it off but yeah. that does not end it or change it or fix well, it so what you're what doing it, it yeah exactly that is exactly yeah. what they're hoping for and it's it's really what is happening People can sell their destiny for five mm. minutes' peace. Mm. You can sell your entire future. Just give me five yeah. minutes' peace. And, and uh, I, I fear that you are right. That's very observant. They are trying to wear down people to just say whatever. We'll accept the elections, crooked though they may be. Mm. If they don't, listen to me, if they don't keep on this point and challenge and challenge up to the Supreme Court, there will never be another free and fair election in America. Mm. Because mm. if they gain the Senate and the House and the White House, they have carte blanche to do whatever they want to do, whatever radical agenda they want to do. That includes statehood for dc statehood for puerto rico that includes 11 million illegal people getting the rights to vote immediately 11 million democratic votes in, in the flick of a switch and their plan is to continually have america in a democratic left-wing continually socialist they're, they they have a model i'm british i am scottish and scotland is is rabidly social Socialist. I mean, it is off the chain socialism. And that's the, I, I don't, what blows my mind as a foreigner in this country, now a citizen, I'm astonished that people are swallowing this stuff without a fight. They are, they are yeah. giving up the very thing that identifies America from every other country in the world. And we are giving it away free, absolutely free. And we can have hundreds of thousands of false votes dumped in the wee hours of the morning after they told everyone go home, we're not counting tomorrow. I was watching this morning, um, about, uh, there, was a, there was a burst pipe in one of the, the hotly contested um, precincts in Atlanta. And uh, so that stopped them counting because of the burst water main. There was no such thing, no report of it, no maintenance records, nothing at all. They just use that as a point to stop the thing. And then suddenly this explosion of Biden votes came in and, and oops, never mind. It's okay. We'll just accept that as well. And what we're doing is we have done that and we have folded our hands and gone to sleep while a rabid socialist agenda Jesus. is taking over America. And let me tell you the bottom of the pit of socialism. They don't want God in any part of your life because God mm. takes away from them. They want to be God. And we're watching it happen, mm. and I am deeply and desperately concerned. Here's the problem. I came to America from Scotland because this is the land of opportunity. There's no other land to go to after America. That's right, that's right. There's no, there's no free country to go yeah. to. There's no country that is freewheeling and big and, and, and dynamic like America. This is it. Where mm. do you go from here? And you, you, my friend, you watching me just now are the, are the guardian of this liberty. And I don't want yeah. to have to look at my grandkids. And when I'm not here and my grandkids have to live in the world that we didn't fight for, it would be a terrible sin, a terrible sin. Yeah. You know, hey, I was preaching yesterday. I was talking about the Holy Spirit and um, just the gift of the Holy Spirit and how we don't have to go alone. We haven't 
someone who accompanies us and um, how he leads us into all truth. Jesus yeah. told us that he will come and lead you into all truth. Absolutely. And while we know that's biblical truth, he's going to lead us and he's going to develop the scriptures in our life and lead us in truth. Um, he leads us in the truth in all these other situations. So to be different, I believe me and you are different from the norm. Yeah. 